Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be talking about the distribution of returns so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's course and if you enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe. So if we're looking at odds and what our potential is, we know that 50% of the trades are going to be lost. The other 50% are going to be wins, of which 70% are going to be between, say, $100 and $600. Now, these losses here are going to be about $450. Now, this is of the 50%. About 25% of these are going to be between that $600 and, say, $2,000. And about 5% of these are going to be between that 2,000 and 4,500. Now, what we found is that these trades here almost completely encapsulate these trades here. So that leaves us with these two that tend to propel our account. So in the big scheme of things, the vast majority of the time, if we look at this correctly, it's about 85% of the time we're working to break even. And so that looks something like this, if you were to look at an equity curve. Now, here's the equity curve. Curve. This would be, say, the number of trades, and this would be your equity. Typically, it'll be something like this, the color. You'll move up and then move sideways. Move up, sideways, up, sideways. About 85% of the time, these guys, you're moving sideways. And then these guys here, 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 about 15% of the time, you're moving up. Hopefully that makes sense. Now that you see that, let's take a look at a, a real world example of that. So you, you can see it exactly how that might look. All right, so we can see here, this is exactly what we have going on. I'll just extend it out a little bit so you can see that very clearly. So this is over the course, a little over a year. And in that year, we've got a return of about 92%. And so you can see we started off well, and then sideways, up, sideways, up a little bit, sideways, up, sideways, up, sideways, sort of up, up. <laughs> it's a little bit volatile here, but it's essentially the same thing. Up, sideways, up, sideways, sideways, up. And it just goes on like that. As long as you're trading with the rules and with some clarity and some discipline, this is what you can expect. A nice, smooth equity curve. Now, the reason why it got a little bit volatile here as opposed to here is that there was a fundamental change in the position sizing right here. The position sizing went up about 50%. So the other thing that you'll notice from that is that not only did it get a little bit volatile, and the drawdowns, this red mark, the red graph down here is the drawdowns. The drawdowns became a little bit more, but still well contained within around 5%, a little over 5%. They were around 3% before. So you go to a 50% bigger position size, and so you get a little bit more volatile. But over time, that will end up smoothing out as well as you get further up and you have higher equity, then the volatility or this up and down bit will start looking kind of like what this looks like way down here. It'll disappear and become smooth. Right now, this is representing almost 360 trades. Imagine if you had a thousand trades. The other thing that you'll see is that every time when you increase the position size, that the slope of the equity curve increases. So it's going to continue and then compound. So this exemplifies the tenant that a very famous person said that I, I happen to be a fan of. He's a person that's written several books on leadership, John C. Maxwell. He says that persistence pays, but consistency compounds. This exemplifies is exactly that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Journey, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks, guys.